Uh, we're at a beehive. Uh, we only need three tools. Or one is a hat, but we're not going to try that today. You need a, a hive tool, which I'll show you, and a smoker. And people from the cave drawing 16,000 years ago, they still they use smoke to go into a beehive. And that's the same today. So you put a little smoke here on the entrance. That's where the guard bees hang out. They communicate with pheromones, and, and that just covers up this alarm pheromone that says, hey, we're being attacked. Defend the hive. So that's what the smoke's for. Um, so you do that, and, and then they kind of fan it throughout the hive, so that covers the, the, the alarm. Then we're going to use this pry bar to open the top. Bees collect sap and make something called propolis or propolis, and that is what they use to seal up any crack, and it's this stuff right here right here, all this orange stuff. It just happens to be an amazing antibiotic and immune system booster and uh, it's really like medicine. Um, we all chew it when we get a sore throat. So these are the bees and they're working and they're out. Uh, well, these are in, let's talk about house bees. The first three weeks of a bee's life, they're a house bee. In the last three weeks, and they only live six weeks, um, they're a field bee. So in the house, they have different duties, they make honeycomb, they feed the larva. In this top box, the bees are going to be making honeycomb and and this should show you there. So you see those perfect hexagonal cells? They just do it like art every single time. And a hexagonal cell is the strongest structure that most closely approximates a circle. So a circle would hold more volume, but it wouldn't be strong. So this is this is their their answer. And they're, they're really mathematical. They've been around for 150 million years, so they've had a long time to figure things out. And they really, in my estimation, have got it figured out. They have this perfect symbiotic relationship where they benefit the environment, feed the animals, and uh, ensure the genetic diversity of plants so they survive while they're gathering their food and, and living their daily life. But see, you can see the honey that they filled inside these cells. It's, um, when it gets full, they'll cap it off, and then it'll be sealed off. Honey's the only food that never goes bad, and it'll be there for that rainy day.